Hello and a very good morning to you again. Uh, thank you for listening in to another little short message this morning. I am doing this pre-recorded message. I am in uh, Belfast in the Crumlin Road outside, as I'm sure you can see, the, the Crumlin Road Road Prison, a place I'm sure <coughs> uh, none of us want to be in. They'll not be in it now, obviously. You can call here for a tour around it. It's, a nice, it's been closed now for a good while. I mentioned it before in another little video. And it's about a prisoner. That's what has brought me here today. Uh, that I want to mention uh, this morning. And a funny thing just happened. to just pass it on to you. And uh, I got off the bus there. And there's a wee woman standing waiting to get across the road. And it's a wee woman from Newry. And she said to me, son, you couldn't tell me how I could get into prison. And when she had it said, she realised just what she had said. She didn't realise she would. And, and I says to her, well, if you stand a bit long enough, we can sort of sort that there out for you. But uh, and I will point her in the right direction. And, you know, uh, but listen, before I did, I pointed her in another direction. The way you can get to, to heaven. And there's only one way, and that is God's way. And that's where I want to point you to today, to tell you how you can be in heaven and how you can get to heaven. But going back to your wee story, uh, <coughs> the, uh, years ago, 1868 is the year, and the woman I was speaking about is a well-known hymn writer by the name of Fanny Crosby. Uh, a woman who was blind in infancy, and she writ, has written uh, more than 8,000 hymns. And there's, whenever she was in a prison uh, in 1868 visiting, she was reciting the scriptures. She walked up the long aisles of the, of the prison. And uh, as she was reciting scripture, here uh, there was uh, this prisoner. She walked up the aisle between the cells. This prisoner called out. And he said, Lord, be merciful to me. Do not pass me by. And that inspired Fanny Crosby to read, to write that well-known hymn. Uh, I'm sure some of you may know it. If not, I uh, recite the hymn to you, a verse or two. And it says, Pass me not, O gentle Saviour. Hear my humble cry. While in others thou art passing, do not pass me by. And you know, uh, the verse also says, trusting only in thy merit. You see, we can never be in heaven through any grounds of our own, or any work of our own. It's not through your prayers, or paying into your church, or chapel, or whatever it may be, or attendance, which is, which is good to, to attend our place of worship. But dear friend, the only way that you and I can be in heaven is through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. By grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. And you know, that dear man, he cried those words, pass me not. And she, he wrote those lovely words. Listen to the chorus, pass me not, O gentle Saviour. Hear my humble cry, while on others thou art passing, do not pass me by. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ is still calling today. He's waiting for you to respond. Yes, he's calling to a world of sinners. But if you realize, dear friend, while in ours they are, they are calling, is your cry today, please, Lord, do not pass me by. God wants to save you. He's waiting for you to, to, to cry out to him. And that takes me to our, today's text in Matthew chapter 20. The Lord Jesus Christ was coming out of Jerusalem with a multitude of people. He was heading to Jerusalem. He was coming out of, out of Jericho with a multitude of people. And Matthew 20 and verse 30 reminds us of two men who also were blind. And they cried out to the Lord Jesus Christ. The knew he was coming by and the shout said, Lord, be merciful to me, to us. And the multitude said, listen, stop causing a scene. And they still cried out. They were determined. They wanted the Lord. And they cried out to him. And he said, what will you that I do unto you? And they said, we we'll want to receive our sight. And you know, God answered their prayer. And God hearkened to their voice. And they got their sight restored. Do you know today, dear friend, you're not uh, physically blind. 
but you're spiritually blind. You see, 2 Corinthians 4 and 4 reminds us, The God of this world hath blinded the minds of them that believe not. You know, dear friend, that is you today if you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Saviour. And the Lord Jesus Christ is written for you to, for, for to hear that cry from you, Lord, be merciful to me, the sinner. And if you do, if you cry to him, he will answer you. He will hear your cry as he did with these two blind men. And I'm sure Fanny Cosby listened to the, the cry of that dear prisoner in that prison so long ago in 1868. She heard him say, Lord, be merciful to me. Don't pass me by. And she stopped and she pointed him to Christ. I have no doubt about that. And dear friend, that's the one I want to point you today. Trust the Lord Jesus Christ as your Saviour. He's waiting to hear you cry out, Lord, be merciful to me. And if you confess your sin, repent of your sin, and accept him as your Saviour, and what the Lord said he would do, and he done that to these two, those two blind men, he granted them their sin, and you know, he, he'll give you, he'll give you, uh, take the scales from off your blinded eyes, and he'll let you see his glory and a soon coming day, and you can look forward like me and along with other people who are saved to a day when the Lord's coming back to take us to heaven and we're looking forward to that day when we will see Christ dear friend are you ready are you saved if not listen again to the words of Fanny Cosby in that lovely hymn pass me not that's what my prayer is that your prayer will be today pass me not O gentle saviour hear my humble cry while another is there passing, they are calling, do not pass me by. Trust him today. May God bless you. Thank you again for listening. Good morning.